Hey guys, welcome to Xbox On. Today sees GTA Online updated with Tiny Racers, a great new mode that borrows a few tricks from Micro Machines and introduces top-down arcade racing to the game. It's a completely new way to compete in GTA Online, adding to the mountains of updates that the game has already seen since it first arrived in 2013. To get us in the mood for the latest update, we've dived back into the game to dig up our eight favorite modes that have been added over the last three years. Let's get going. Rockstar have always been known for their movie parodies and references, so let's kick off with a mode that pays homage to the legendary light cycles in Tron. In deadline mode, bikers are trapped in a futuristic neon arena and sat on bikes that leave a deadly trail of light. Get the other racers to crash into your electric deposit and you win. It's brilliantly simple but has loads of room for sneaky tactics as you try and pen rivals in impossible to escape light traps or start reading the minimap to predict their path and zip in with a deadly barrier at the last minute. Often it plays like digital bullfighting as two maniacs speed towards each other waiting for the other to make their move so they can shift into a stronger position in the last minute. It is a huge amount of fun and if you like the look of the mode but can't face the stress of it, you could also take Take a look at the new land grab mode. This borrows the Tron look but challenges two teams of two to paint an arena in their team colour by running over unclaimed pieces of floor. Of course everyone has a massive gun to help even the odds, but it's another great addition to the game. Next up is another nod to a classic movie. Hasta la Vista mode takes its cues from Terminator 2, with a classic bike versus truck clash. Of course in Terminator 2, Arnie got a motorbike, whilst here you're stuck with the pedal variety. On paper, the idea of truck versus bicycle may sound horribly unfair, and for the first few rounds you'd be right. The two cyclists are trying to reach a distant point on the map, but the head start they're given is quickly lost and they're easily mulched under those massive wheels. But give it time and you begin to develop cunning strategies, riding behind safety barriers along the side of the road, or weaving between oncoming traffic to create obstacles for those in pursuit. The trucks are big, but they are unwieldy. There's something really satisfying about letting one overtake you before zipping off at a high speed as they try to do an awkward U-turn. It's such a good mode, we'd love to see it return in the online part of Red Dead Redemption 2. Horse versus a train, anyone? GTA Online is overflowing with variations on Team Deathmatch, but recently we've been having fun with Power Play. It's a straight up deathmatch livened up with crazy power ups. You can confuse the other team, sending their screen into ripples of chemically enhanced confusion. Or perhaps you go dark, hiding your team from the minimap. Of course, the holy grail of power ups is Beasted, which transforms you into the super powered beast that runs fast and kills with a punch. Get one of those freaks running towards you, and it's pretty much game over. It makes for hectic encounters with constantly shifting challenges to overcome. And if you needed any more convincing, you can play as a team of gingerbread men. Perfect. Our next pick is Siege Mentality, a super tense face-off between attackers and defenders. The attackers have an infinite supply of lives, but are stuck with sawn off shotguns, so are pretty poor at long distance. The defenders only get one life per round, but have a more varied arsenal, letting them hold back the attackers. It gives the game a really nervous atmosphere, as one team of shady murderers slink towards their target, and the defender tries to find the best sniping spot without... Yeah, falling off of the roof. Note to self, in case of a real siege, do not depend on Xbox One to save you. After almost three years of tearing up the streets of GTA Online, Rockstar decided to take racing to the skies. The result is the Cunning Stunts update. Try saying that ten times fast. A series of gravity-defying racetracks floating above San Andreas. It's as if Hot Wheels and F-Zero got together and had a freaky tarmac baby. There are booster-covered cliffs that lift you up into the clouds and 360-degree pipes that let you overtake opponents on the ceiling. We love the surreal beauty of some of these tracks. Moments such as tearing around a corner only to catch a glimpse of the sky scrapers stretching out beneath you, for example, or the way that giant ramps are placed so that you're forced to make death-defying leaps over famous landmarks. No wonder every racer is given an Evil Knievel-style stunt suit. Okay, so too many laps tend to end with us falling from the track and exploding in the world below, but it's a risk worth taking for one of GTA Online's greatest additions. Sumo is exactly what you'd imagine. Uh, that is, if you imagine sumo wrestling with four cars on top of a skyscraper. It's another stupidly simple idea, but one that has us in fits of laughter at how stupid the whole thing is. Trying to nudge three cars from the top of a building makes for some surprisingly deep mind games, as two or three cars inevitably team up to take down a weaker vehicle before turning on each other. With two evenly matched cars, you start trying to trick each other by driving perilously close to the edge and dodging out the way when your rival comes to ram you. At least, that's the idea. Often, driving perilously close to the edge simply becomes driving over the edge. Yeah, you have been warned. 
One of the more recent additions, the Special Vehicle Circuits, is an expansion to cunning stunts based around the special abilities of three bizarre motors. First up is the Blazer Aqua, a quad bike that doubles as a jet ski when you hit the water and fold up its wheels. It allows the track designers to borrow some ideas from log flumes as sky-high tracks suddenly plunge into the lakes below for a spot of wave race action. Even better are the Rocket Voltic courses, built around the car's ludicrous boost abilities. This bad boy can boost from 0 to 130 miles per hour in under 2 seconds. Seconds, a fact put to good use as you hurl yourself down long tarmac straights. It works especially well when the race is set to eliminate the player in last place at regular intervals. Trying to use that boost to escape disqualification is a huge thrill. But the standouts have to be the Ruiner 2000 tracks. The car can jump with a press of the left analog stick and unfold a parachute at the tap of A. So begins a series of death-defying leaps as you hurl yourself from ramps and try to glide to safety with the parachute. The sight of 16 cars floating through the sky is the kind of fantastical nonsense you only get in a Rockstar game. It comes highly recommended. When it comes to classic GTA Online modes, can anything quite compare to the heists? Prepping for a series of audacious robberies was the highlight of the single player campaign and ended up being even better online. Played with between two and four friends, the heists are co-op magic. You have to really work and gel as a team if you want to come out on top. In the story mode, there's only so much room for improvisation as NPC allies push the mission in a set direction. Teaming up with three human players allows for all kinds of chaos to kick off. Yes, it can be annoying when a trigger-happy idiot runs blindly into a shootout and fails the mission for everyone, but at least that's true to the madness of most heist films. If you want to be really brave, you should go for a criminal mastermind challenge. The same team of four has to complete all heists in order on hard difficulty without a single member of the team dying at any stage. Manage that lot and you've proved yourself a true master of GTA Online. Why not unwind with some tiny races to celebrate? So there you have it, our eight favorite modes that have been added to GTA Online. Of course, there are loads more than we've been able to mention here, so do let us know in the comments if we've missed out your personal favorites. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for loads of great Xbox content throughout the week. We'll see you again soon. Bye.